So, high flow air filters like this one from DNA, do they really make a difference? Now, I'm lucky in that I have a few bikes in the garage, but the one that I spend most of my time on is the Royal Enfield 350 Meteor. Now, I'm fine with the power of this bike. It's only about 20 horsepower, but as a daily commuter, it's no issue at all, even on freeways. But like all riders, I'm always looking for that little bit of extra power, so I thought I'd do some mods, starting with the DNA high flow air filter and cover plate. So let's get them fitted and see if they make any difference to the bike. So the first thing we need to do is remove this side panel here. So it's a bolt up here. So get rid of that one. There we go. Put that in a safe place. One down here. That whole panel that just comes off. There's a little side tab there that just comes out. There we go. So we need to remove the restrictor plate. Three screws. That one's a bit tight. There we go. So that panel comes off, the whole filter comes out. Now you can see that's quite a restrictive intake and the new one is gonna open that right up. And then it's literally, open up the box. There's my new air filter, and that's been pre-oiled. So open that up. Open up that. There we go, and that's gonna sit on the outside. So basically, air filter goes in there. Okay, so let's get the plate on. Now you've got to make sure it goes on that way. Yep, with the DNA at the top. And simple as that, it's done. So just nip all those up so they're nice and tight. Then we'll take it for a ride, see if it makes a difference. Okay, let's get the side panel back on. So you've got a lug there. It goes in and that's the only lug that I can see. Yep, that just clicks in there. Oh, and the little one up here. So that's gotta go in up there. So that goes on. Yep, that clicks in. There we go, like that. Drop those screws. Happy days, done. Now one thing they do say is if you are fitting this DNA high flow air filter, just turn the bike on and let it run for 15 minutes or so without revving it. So we're gonna do that now. Make sure we're in neutral and turn him on. But I'll just let that run for about 15 minutes and we'll come back and we'll take it for a test ride. Okay, so that's been running for about 15 minutes now. We'll just switch it off. We'll get kitted up and we'll go for a bit of a ride to see if it makes a difference. Now I have to say, I probably wasn't expecting much of a difference, but there was definitely an increase in power and torque. It felt like the bike would get up to speed just a little bit quicker, and it would also maintain 80 kilometers an hour at a lower RPM. 
I always feel on this stretch of road here that has quite an incline that the bike will be revving quite high to maintain 80, but with the DNA filter and plate, it seemed better. Now we're not talking a massive difference, but it was noticeable. If you'd like to see some more mod videos of the Royal Enfield 350 Meteor, then let us know in the comments. And also let us know what mods you've made to your bike. Next up for me is the exhaust, but that will be another video. Check out this playlist over here with a series of videos featuring custom Royal Enfields.